electrical problems based on the hydrogen spectrum. So watch this video till the end to learn what type of questions may ask in the competitive exams and how to solve numerical problems based on the hydrogen spectrum. Let's do a quick revision of hydrogen spectrum. When an electron moves from higher energy level to lower energy level, it emits radiation and these emitted radiations appear as bright lines in the spectrum. Each element has a unique line emission spectrum. Emission spectra of hydrogen consists of lines of different frequencies. When electron returns to the first level from any higher level, it emits high energy UV radiation. And lines appear in this region are named as Lyman series. When electron returns to second level from any higher level, it emits radiation belonging to the visible region. And lines appear in this region are named as Balmer series. When electron returns to the third level from any higher level, it emits radiation belong to the IR region and lines appear in this region are named as Passion series. And when electron return to the fourth level from any higher level, it emits radiation belonging to the IR region and lines are named as Bracket series. When electron return to the fifth level from any higher level, it emits radiation belonging to the IR region and line appear in this region are named as Fun series. Rydberg studied these lines and gave the following equation. Nu bar is equal to 109678 in bracket 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square bracket close centimeter inverse. Here 109678 cm inverse is the Rydberg's constant. N1 is the lower energy level and its value can be 1, 2, 3 and so on. N2 is the higher energy level and its value can be equal to N1 plus 1, N1 plus 2, N1 plus 3 and so on. To study it in detail, you can watch my video on hydrogen spectrum. I have given its link in the description box. Now try to solve some questions. The wavelength of a spectral line for an electronic transition is inversely related to velocity of electron undergoing transition, number of electrons undergoing transition, the difference in energy levels involved in the transition or none of these. First you try to attempt this question then I will explain. From the Rydberg's formula, you know as the distance between N1 and N2 level increases, wave number increases or you can say wavelength decreases because nu bar is equal to 1 upon lambda. So C is the correct option. Now come to the question number 2. The line spectra of two elements are not identical because the element do not have the same number of neutrons. They have different mass numbers. Their outermost electrons are at different energy levels or all of the above. What should be the correct option? Let's see. You know that the line spectra results from the transition of electrons between different levels. And each element has a different electronic configuration. So their outermost electrons may belong to the different energy levels. That's why C is the correct option. Now come to the question number 3. Wave number of the series limiting line for the Lyman series of hydrogen atom is. The value of Rydberg constant R is given 109678 cm inverse. Option A 82259 cm inverse. Option B, 109678 cm inverse. Option C, 1.2157 into 10 is to minus 5 cm inverse. Option D, 9.1176 into 10 is to minus 5 cm inverse. What should be the correct answer? Let's see. 
in this question you might get confused with the word limiting line the limiting line corresponds to the transition from the highest level which can be infinity you know that the n1 level for lyman series is 1 that means the limiting line corresponds to the transition from infinity to first level now you can calculate the wave number for the limiting line of lyman series of hydrogen atom by using the rydberg's formula here you will take n1 is equal to 1 and n2 is equal to infinity and on solving the equation you will get mu bar is equal to 109678 cm inverse so b will be the correct option now come to the question number 4 the wave number of the shortest wavelength of absorption spectrum of hydrogen atom is the value of rydberg constant is given as 109700 cm inverse option a is 109700 cm inverse option b 3 by 4 into 109700 cm inverse option c 1 by 2 into 109700 cm inverse option d 9 by 10 into 109700 cm inverse you can pause the video and try to solve it yourself Let's see how to solve this question. It is asked to find the wave number of the shortest wavelength of absorption spectrum of hydrogen atom because the distance between levels increases, frequency of the spectral line also increases and wavelength decreases. That means to get the shortest wavelength, distance between the levels should be maximum. So it can be one to infinity. because here we have to find out the transition for absorption spectrum when electron absorbs some amount of energy it will go to the higher energy level that means here n1 level will be 1 and n2 level will be infinity now you can calculate the wave number by using the rydberg's formula and on solving the equation you will get mu bar is equal to 109700 cm inverse So A is the correct option. Now come to the question number five. Wavelength of the first line of Balmer series of hydrogen atom is six five six one angstrom. Wavelength of the second line of the series is option A one three one two two angstrom. Option B three two eight zero angstrom. Option C four eight six zero angstrom. and option d is 2180 angstrom let's see how to solve this question you know that for balmer series n1 level is 2 and 2 level can be equal to n1 plus 1 n1 plus 2 n1 plus 3 and so on. so the first line will correspond to the transition from 3 to 2 level and the second line which corresponds to the transition from 4 to 2 level now use the rydberg formula but you need to convert wave number into wavelength now use this formula for the first line that is transition from 3 to 2 level you will get 1 upon lambda 1 is equal to r in bracket 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon 3 square bracket close on solving this equation you will get 1 upon lambda 1 is equal to r in bracket 5 by 36 now mark this equation as equation 1 now use the rydberg's formula for the second line that means transition from 4 to second level you will get 1 upon lambda 2 is equal to r in bracket 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon 4 square On solving this equation, you will get one upon lambda two is equal to r in bracket three upon sixteen. Now mark this equation as equation two. Now divide the equation one by equation two. You will get this equation. The value of lambda one is given six five six one angstrom in the question. 
So place this value in the above equation. Now solve it to get the value of lambda 2. And you will get lambda 2 is equal to 4859.7 angstrom. That means option C is the correct option. Now come to the question number 6. How many spectral lines are produced in the spectrum of hydrogen atom when the excited electron of hydrogen atom in fifth energy level drop to the ground state? Option A 15, Option B 5, Option C 10 and Option D is 4. It is a typical question that asks in the competitive exams. You know that spectral lines are produced as a result of transitions from one level to another level. When electron drop from fifth energy level to the ground state, it may halt at any intermediate level and then continue its journey. In this way, it may result in a number of transitions that can be calculated by using the following formula. The number of spectral lines is equal to n2 minus n1 multiplied by n2 minus n1 plus 1 divided by 2. Now place the value of n2 equal to 5 and n1 equal to 1 in the formula. After solving it, you will get the number of spectral lines is equal to 10. That means C is the correct option. Now come to the question number 7. Which of the following electron transition in hydrogen atom will require largest amount of energy? From n is equal to 1 to n is equal to 2. From n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 3. From n is equal to infinity to n is equal to 1. Or from n is equal to 3 to n is equal to 5. Let's try to solve this question. Here you have to find out which of the following transition in hydrogen atom will require the largest amount of energy. We already knew that the greater the distance between the levels, the larger will be the energy. You might think C would be the correct option. But you made a mistake here. When you carefully read the question, you will find that it used the word required energy. That means electron will absorb energy and will go to the higher level. While in option C, electrons comes from higher level infinity to lower level 1. And during this transition, it will release energy. So it is not the correct option. Now examine the other options. As the distance from the nucleus increases, the difference between the energy of orbits decreases. First level is the closest to the nucleus, so the energy difference between first and second level will be the highest. And A will be the correct option. You can solve this question by using the Lidbox formula also. Energy is directly proportional to the wave number. First calculate the wave number for each transition and then compare it. The transition that has the maximum wave number will be your answer. Now come to the Question number 8. The wave number of the first line of Balmer series for hydrogen atom is 15200 cm inverse. The wave number of first Balmer line of lithium 2 plus ion is Option A 15200 cm inverse Option B 60800 cm inverse Option C 76000 cm inverse or option D 136800 cm inverse. Let's see how to solve this type of question. To solve this type of question, you have to use the generalized form of red box formula that is mu bar is equal to Rh z square in bracket 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square centimeter inverse. Here z is the atomic number. In question it is asked to calculate the wave number for the same line of Balmer series. That means for both the elements n1 and n2 level will be the same. The only point of difference is the atomic number. So let's find out the relationship between wave number and atomic number. 
and you will find weight number is directly proportional to the z square. So we can establish the following relationship. Mu bar 1 upon mu bar 2 is equal to z1 square upon z2 square. Now apply this equation for Li2 plus ion and hydrogen atom. You will get mu bar for Li2 plus ion divided by mu bar for hydrogen atom is equal to 9. Mu bar for hydrogen atom is given in the question equal to 15300 cm inverse. Now place the value in the above equation and on solving the equation you will get mu bar for Li2 plus ion is equal to 136800 cm inverse. That means D is the correct option. Now come to the question number 9. If the shortest wavelength of hydrogen atom in Lyman series is x, then the longest wavelength in the Balmer series of helium plus ion is option A 36x by 5, option B 5x by 9, option C 9x by 5, option D x by 5. Let's see how to solve this question. E is directly proportional to 1 upon lambda or you can say E is inversely proportional to lambda. The shortest wavelength is obtained when there is a maximum difference in energy levels. For Lyman series, shortest wavelength can be obtained when there is a maximum difference between the levels that means infinity to 1. The longest wavelength can be obtained when there is a minimum difference between the levels. The longest wavelength in Balmer series can be obtained from the transition from third to second level. Now use the generalized form of Rydberg's formula for hydrogen. Place the value of lambda h is equal to x as given in the question. z is equal to 1, n1 is equal to 1 and n2 is equal to infinity. You will get the following equation. Now use the generalized form of Rydberg's formula for helium plus ion. This time place the value of Z is equal to 2 that is atomic number of helium, N1 is equal to 2, N2 is equal to 3 and you will get the following equation. Now divide equation 1 by equation 2. You will get lambda for helium is equal to 9x upon 5. That means C is the correct option. I hope you understand now how to solve numerical problems based on the hydrogen spectrum. But even if you have any doubt or questions, you can post in the comment box. Don't forget to like and share this video. And to get more such videos, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notification. And you can also join my telegram channel. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Stay safe.